I'm sure that you've been in the position where you've entered a trade, you thought it was a good trade, you had confidence that that trade was going to be a winner, and you've then proceeded to see the market do the exact opposite of your trade. And you've thought, the market's against you, why did I enter this position at all? It's a terrible trade, what am I doing? And you just go into this cycle of why, 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 why? Well, that was me for around three and a half, four years. Um, whilst I was trading the forex market um, and in this video I want to share my thoughts about the forex market and also why I've stopped trading it and moved over to a different asset class. Now everyone knows that the markets are manipulated by large institutions. It's not a secret and it looks like they're not even trying to hide it and when I was actually trading the forex markets I would always second guess myself about a trade because I wouldn't know if I'm being manipulated into a certain position or if I'm being manipulated to trade slash not trade a position um, because they're going to manipulate it into a certain direction afterwards. Whenever I was trading, I always had that in the back of my mind. And one of the main reasons is, well, obviously it's being manipulated. And the other one is that there are a lot of courses out there around bank manipulation and how to trade bank manipulation. Now, I'm sure the banks know that people are trying to trade against them. They're not stupid. And they have the technology, they have the, the skills to be able to trade around these strategies that are supposedly trying to fight against the bank manipulation. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying that the banks probably know what you're doing. And at the end of the day, I don't want to be second guessing myself around every single trade I take. Um, so after four years of trading the Forex markets, I have moved over to the S&P 500. Um, if you don't know what the S&P 500 is, it's essentially the top 500 companies in the US combined into one asset that you can trade. So instead of placing 500 trades on individual stocks, you're going to be placing one trade on an individual asset that is combining all of those companies together. So the reason I've moved over to the, over to the S&P 500 is for a few reasons, but essentially it's harder to manipulate, in my opinion, than a currency pair, because you'd have to manipulate, you don't have to ma manipulate 500 companies because it's weighted towards the top, I think it's eight or nine, um, give up about around 30% of it, it's somewhere around there, it's probably, I know that's not an exact figure, but it's somewhere around there. In my opinion, that would just be harder to manipulate than one single currency pair. My fundamental analysis is also stronger on the S&P 500. Um, I don't know how to do proper fundamental analysis on currency pairs, whereas I do know how to do it on the S&P 500. Um, I also have confidence that over the next 10 years, the S&P will be more worth more than what it is today. And if I have that mentality of this is worth more, I can have confidence going into my trades that even if it goes down over the next 10 years, it will go back up. And for me personally, that gives me confidence around my trades and gives me the confidence to go into my trades um, knowing that it is going to go up eventually. Now that's not saying that I'm going to be holding losing trades for a long time. That's just knowing that the market is essentially long term bullish. Now I know this was a very short video um, talking about the manipulation within the forex market and my reasons for trading the S&P 500. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I do want to kind of request something of you though because there are a lot of traders that are going through the same thing that I was going through for four years, um, where you're stuck in the forex markets thinking it's the only way to make money and they're struggling over and over and over again. They're struggling to have confidence in their trades and they might have been trading for longer than a year um, and they're still trying to grind through that forex market and still coming up against the same uh, struggles send them this video and hopefully it could inspire them to trade a different asset class, push themselves out of their comfort zone and go into a different um, asset class of, you know, S&P 500 um, futures. It could be anything, right? There's 
a, a million different ways to trade, but essentially it could inspire them to make a change and go into a different asset and hopefully make money in that instead of sticking with something that isn't working for them. Forex is not the only thing that you can trade and it took me a very, very long time to figure that out. But now that I have, my trading has just got so much, so much better. Um, and I am really, really seeing a difference in my trading over the last year. Um, if you do have any kind of questions around this, if you do have any questions about my trading or any more reasons of why I would have left the Forex market, um, put it in the description below and I will make sure to answer your questions. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.